quickly saw that weigh in, it was like low 187s. So I am going to fast today. I'm going to pretend like that scale is the same scale as, uh, you know, as, as at my house. I think it's close. It could be within like a pound. But, um, so I will fast. I will, uh, it will get me, get me angry and hungry for this race. <laughs> But anyway, I got a couple workouts. I think one was like a, a one hour and then a two hour. Um, just getting out there on the trail and, uh, you know, doing some, maybe a little bit of, mostly hiking, maybe a little bit of running and uh, trying my new shoes out that I have on right now, my new boots. I like these boots. And uh, yeah, just kind of getting used to the air. So my coach had town. Just get start get acclimated, Bill. Start getting acclimated. I'm in the Voyager Hotel. I'm in the Voyager Hotel and I have like really, really good memories of walking up and down like this hotel. There's two floors and it literally just gets taken over by the arrowhead racers and like everybody you, you know. Usually when it gets close to the race, everybody's got their doors open, they're working on all their equipment, and you just kind of walk down the hall, and I usually know about half the people. <laughs> and, uh, and you like, kind of catch up with everybody as they're working on their gear. And I remember I was in this, I was in this hall last year, and, my, and, I, and he, has a, he puts a scale out there, and I put my, my scale, I think I talked about it a little bit, but I put my scale on my, my uh, sled on the scale on end and it had like 50 pounds or 40 something pounds and it, and it buckled like 10 o'clock at night right on race the night before the race and we put it we had a big panic <laughs> I had a big panic but you know I had a couple couple people help me and uh, and uh, the lady who was filming me which <laughs> she's a hard worker and then uh, my buddy Mark and they you know kind of shored it up uh, put some put some dowels on there and, and you know and kind of and fixed it. it it worked great during the race but man this hallway memories memories in the hall at the Voyager and the guys who show up for this race are badass they're awesome I love all the guys and women <laughs> hopefully you saw that my sled made the trip although the guy's telling me he's got a five pound lighter sled which I'll have time to test them both out, so I'm kind of excited about it. Um, I also just rented a car. I got uh, Deb got a great deal on a, I think it's a Ford Escape or something, but it's like an all-wheel drive car. And uh, anyway, I'm excited to get some wheels so I can like move around town. <laughs> I, I, I think I can't rent it till tomorrow. They're shipping it in from someplace. But uh, anyway, I'm excited about that. And and. Um, I don't know. I got to figure out how early I want to go out. Where Tuscobia is like four hours away, where that race starts. So I got to figure that out if I want to go out there a couple days early and get the lay of the land out there too. But I'm going out in a few minutes to do my first, um, just like a little one-hour power walk, and uh, I'll probably I'll probably do two of them today. And um, but come back to the hotel and then try some different gear out and then do it again. Getting ready to start out for my uh, my like little one hour walk and uh, started snowing and it got colder and I think I'm gonna go put another layer on. <laughs> That's why I'm here. <laughs> another layer and I'm gonna get my head baklava because man it's cold on my my California cheeks are cold. <laughs> this is right around where the start is right here. Right here. We come out of like, I think that there's like a little shed over there. Anyway, one of these buildings we come out of and we check in and then we start up. Up this road. Up that way. That's the way. That's the start of Arrowhead.
these conditions are, uh, I don't know what this would be considered, but it's somewhere in the middle. But it reminds me of walking on the beach. <laughs> reminds me, it definitely reminds me of being on the beach. We said four miles. Uh, run, walk, run, walk, run. And I did 102.46. I think basically my strategy is out here. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I don't think I'm going to see myself walking 15 minute mile pace, which I, which is what I want to average. I want to average 15 because then there's a ton of cushion, but I'm really thinking like going as long as I can with the run walk strategy. That's all I've been practicing anyway. So run a mile, walk a mile, run a mile, walk a mile, you know, till you, well, till you get too tired to do it <laughs> and then you walk, but you know, don't push it too hard. Don't blow myself up. But I think, I, well, I know I have the fitness to do this for sure, to do that strategy with my sinewy body and all the training I've been doing. So I felt great out there. I started, I put that third, I put three layers on because I was cold when I first went out there and uh, I started sweating on the way back because I was running. During the run part, I was sweating a little bit. I probably had to pull off a layer probably. Um, but I'm going back out in a few minutes with my screw shoes to try the screw shoes out and it's getting, it's, you know, the temperature's gonna dive as it gets dark. So I'm probably gonna go with, um, with the three layers again, just to, to see how it goes. And I'm, and I'm starting out walking anyway. Uh, the good things were my hands originally were a little bit cold when I first started, cause I had, um, I had like pretty, anyway, I had, I had just a glove that wasn't, it wasn't uh, thick enough. And I went to my mittens and I put these little, these inner gloves on, which are kind of a little bit too big for, uh, you know, if you got to do a little handy stuff. So I'll probably get some smaller ones and those thinner. And, uh, but my hands, they were a little bit cold. And then I put the cap on my head. I put a, I put two caps on my head. I know that from swimming. My buddy, Tom, the reptile lit, lit the gum just reminded me of that. Cause the other day he was talking about his, taking his cap off when he swam and how he could handle it in the bay, you know? And I thought to myself, yeah, that's true. We wear those caps in the bay just on our head because they keep the rest of our body warm. And so I started out and my hands were a little bit cold and I go, hey, let's, let's put an extra cap on your head. Like Tom would not do in the bay. Let's do the opposite. <laughs> yeah, um, he started to make it more challenging. But anyway, so I remembered like, yeah, I swim with a cap on my head in the bay. And so I put that extra, you know, extra small cap and then my baklava on and damn, I was, felt great. My hands felt great. I felt warm. This is what I'm out here for. Just testing these little things out, figuring them all out, you know, stuff that I can't really test in Santa Rosa. <laughs> and I don't get to test when you come out here like two days before the race. It's just like chaos. You know, I'm usually out here. It's just chaos running around like a chicken with my head cut off trying to get gear and Anyway, this is great. It's just great strategy. I'm excited. So I was, so I came in, what I really want to do is run, walk and average 15 minutes a mile. That's what I want to do if the conditions are good. If the conditions are good, I want to be able to run, walk and average 15 minutes a mile. That's going to give me a lot of cushion. If I can even do that, you know, out to 70 miles, you know, run, walk before it, uh, before it gets too much hillier than that. But, um, I don't know, I'm just brainstorming with you guys. I'm still fine-tuning it. I'll run it by some of my buddies, too, who are more Riley veterans than me. <laughs> but I like the run walk, and I like that I was, like, just two minutes over that uh, that one hour. <clears throat> and I would consider the conditions are good out there right now. Not great. Not great. Great is really solid, but this is good, you know. So, anyway, going to try the shoe screw, screw shoes now for an hour and see how those go. Another quick thing, man, that... Uh, that cold, and it's only 20 degrees out there, it froze this camera up quick and it died. I gotta figure out something. Uh, or there's gonna be big gaps between when I can talk to you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna put a sock over it or a, or a spare glove and see how that does, if that helps on this, on this little round. Hey, so far so good on the shoes too. I really like these Hoka shoes, uh, these Hoka trail 
boot shoes, whatever they're called, but they're high tops. Um, and I really like them, you know. So let's let's try the screw shoes though. The screw shoes are uh, I've worn those a lot. They're proven, and I've only worn them, the screws in them last year. They're proven, but it's different having screws in the bottom of your shoes. <laughs> Sometimes you start to think they're coming through. But anyway, I'm gonna try them out again. And I, I'm hoping this will be my rotation because I'm really thinking I'm going to bring two pairs of shoes out there. And this will be my rotation. These Hoka's and the, the North Face Screw Shoes! <laughs> I'm not sure North Face would know what a screw shoe was if you ordered one. <laughs> but I do! <laughs> All right, so that four mile was uh, like 105.52. It was about three minutes slower than uh, the first one. Um, but I'll tell you, the screw shoes are definitely faster. The conditions are worse. It's been kind of snowing the whole time. Not hard, but just kind of whatever you call it. Just, fl I don't know, sprinkling snow. <laughs> But it adds up on the trail, and then it's, uh, and then that was my second one. So it's a little slower, and it's a fast day. So definitely getting a little tired right now. Uh, it's like eight o'clock at night or something. And, uh, but good, I'm out here. I'm out here, I'm figuring it out. The gloves are, um, there's a little problem when I got that, you know, uh, inner glove in the thicker glove that they kind of bunch up in there. So I got to figure out a solution for that or buy some different gloves. But um, yeah, you start getting where you, you really have trouble getting your hands in and out, mostly in. They're hard to get in if those, in those inner, you know, those two pair of gloves stuck together. And if they start um, bunching up, it's, it's hard to get your hand in there. It's not good. Uh, so I'll have to look at those or, or buy a new pair. And then, uh, but the shoes were, the shoes you could tell you don't slide as much. You, even in the thicker snow, a little bit more snow coming down, you don't slide as much. So that's like awesome. Uh, clothing felt good. Um, yeah, everything felt good. Uh, had to figure out the camera though. <laughs> Cause <laughs> As soon as I keep it out for a little bit, it starts to freeze and the battery goes down like really fast. So I'll have to work on that too. Um, but yeah, those are things I'll brainstorm with Deb and uh, see what we come up with or what she can find. And I want to get, I got to get some thinner inner gloves um, than these. These are too thick or too hard to work on stuff. Like turning your camera on and stuff. It's, it's difficult. Um, and then I'm... Uh, yeah, I think everything else is going good. I think it was it was awesome. That was awesome. So that was a great, was um, a great workout. That couple hours of uh, sled pulling and uh, or not sled pulling, just running in the snow and um, power walking in the snow. Um, and I'm gonna do my alto lab now to get the trifecta, the third workout of the day, and. Uh, this will be fun. This will probably make me sleep like a baby. But um, yeah, this was uh, this uh, this was this was tough last night. It really made me sleep. I, I fell asleep like deep, dude. So when I got deep. off the trail, <laughs> I definitely got a chill. And I'm like I'm like learning my lesson now about that cat, man. I don't know why that just sunk in. I just talked to Tom like yesterday. You know the reptile. 
and uh, he talked about that cap thing, how he took his cap off because he wanted to be colder in the water. And it just made me think about, like, man, when I get cold, put that cap on, you know, because, yeah, I'm not like the reptile. I want to be warm in the water, <laughs> as warm as I can be. And same as up here. And so I came off with that chill, and I put the cap on. I put, a, put you know, I put a couple dry layers on, and uh, and I'm going to do the Alto Lab. The Alto Lab usually makes me really get it hot. It heats me up. It heats me up. So I'm sure this won't last very long, maybe a one round, and then I'll be like stripping off layers, not too many layers. <laughs> All right, that was an awesome day. <laughs> two hours of two hours of running in the snow and an Alto Lab session. Those that Alto Lab, I've I've never been this strong on Alto Lab before. I've never done it this much. You know, I asked him how much the hardcore guys are doing, and that's what he told me. They're doing six days on and six days off, and they keep rotating. I don't know how long, <laughs> but. Uh, I love it, man, and I think it's like, it's gotta help. It's just another thing, just another thing that's gonna help. And um, yeah, it's like freaking, what time is it? I think it's like 10 o'clock at night. Um, let me look here real quick. Yeah, 10.40, 10.40, 10.40, and I'm finishing up. Got my temporary X chart, temporary. Ooh, that's why it's temporary. So anyway. Getting that X on there. So that one, we just ordered a, uh, we just ordered one that's uh, just like the one I got at my house, the wall one. We got the wall one. I said, Deb, I'm going to be here for like almost seven weeks. I go, let's get a wall one. I didn't want to try to, that thing, so it's big, and I don't even know, they must send it in a tube or something, is how they ship it, because they're big and they and they curl up. I didn't know how to pack it anyway. You know, I, I would have probably damaged it, and it's just too valuable, and it's too many good memories, that X chart. All right, but I got the temporary one going. And this, by the way, in case you forgot, and I didn't even mention it hardly at all, because I didn't feel it that much to me, because I'm so excited to be up here, but... This was a fast day today. In fact, as I told Gerald's wife that I was fasting, and Gerald came out and he goes, you're fasting? <laughs> That's not good for you. You're gonna really feel cold out there. And you know what, when he said that, I felt cold because of that for a little while. And I go, That's only because Gerald said that. <laughs> anyway, I go, better be cold and skinny, Gerald, than fat and warm. <laughs> All right. Uh, 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 be Binge day tomorrow, man. Fast day was automatic. There isn't even a calorie count. And binge day tomorrow, I'm really excited about that because Gerald makes like some great breakfast here and I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> awesome day. Oh yeah, good night everybody. Have an awesome night for you too.